What up guys, so it's the start of a new day. It's Thursday, so it's Thirsty Thursday. So if you're a college student, you know what that means. Um, I got some uh, packages I need to take to the post office. So yeah, let's get the day started. That I got tired last night, I'ma uh, fill up the reservoir right here. Well, not fill it up, but fill it to the max line. Nothing is worse than when you save your lunch and someone goes and eat your fucking lunch, bro. Like, I just went all the way off inside my house right now, yo. Like, who does that? Like, if you put your food in a container that, that everyone knows is a container to take for lunch at work, why would you go in there? And it's like they eat the shit that you know that you want and leave the bullshit behind, like everything in me right now not to go punch my brother out his sleep bro like it's taking everything in me right now not to go deck the living shit out of my brother in his sleep like for real for real like i'm like beyond mad and i was putting that food up last night saying to myself like yo somebody probably gonna eat this shit and what did they do somebody ate my shit bro like rant's over um i'm about to head to the post office right now so that way I could drop off these decals for the people who ordered. So if you need decals, hit your boy up. You can hit me on Instagram. Or I'll if you if you comment below and you need decals done, I'll give you my email address and you can email me. So I just made it to the post office. Getting all the papers and shit. And the box is ready. So I'll catch you guys when I come back out. Alright guys, all orders have been shipped out. So be on the lookout. If you order something from me, it should be on its way. Alright, so I want to say thank you guys for the support on that. Don't look back at your car when you're walking away from it. You bought the wrong one, guys. Guys, so I've been getting a lot of comments about uh, my bumper hair. Being that I up the size on the tire, when I air out, it pushes this piece out. So the tab kind of broke, but like, it sits in on this side a little bit better, but right here, it's stuck on the tire. So that's why it does that. But when it airs up, it goes in. I really love the fact that you guys are loving the content like you guys are killing me in the dms but i'm answering each and every one of you guys all of you guys who are supporting the decals and you know purchasing decals from me like yo it means a lot to me i'm a small channel and it's crazy when people says like you know i can't wait till my channel gets as big as yours but it's like bro i'm still small so you know i can't wait to the day when it's like i'm 10,000 50,000 100,000 if i ever get to that point but I just want to say thank you guys, man. I know I thank you guys at, at the end of every video, but this is at the middle of the video, and I want to thank you guys. All right, so I just want to say you guys show nothing but love and support. Because of this bagged S2000 right here. Look at it, guys. Woo. Look at that, man. That shit looks so good. I'm happy I did the tents. The tents makes this car look so much better. I feel like I want to do the front windshield, too. But I'm thinking about getting new wheels. Just a little bit something different, so if anybody's interested, I might be selling these wheels. Uh, I'm not sure if I would ship them, but if I do, then you know you would have to pay for that. But I was thinking to myself, I do want to switch up my trunk setup. So let me show you guys my trunk setup. This is for all the new uh, subscribers, because I know a lot of you guys probably didn't watch all of my videos. So I'm just going to show you. Like I said... This is for the new subscribers because I know a lot of you guys may have not gone back and watched my videos. So 
right now I'm just gonna give you a full breakdown of what's on the car what's done to the car and what's planned for the car so one I'm gonna show you each and everything that's done all right so one we have the air suspension right now I'm running airlift with the v2 management I like the v2 management because it's just simple it's clean it's just a remote I don't need all the extra fanciness and all the extra cool Wi-Fi Bluetooth shit I just want my remote I'm good air the bitch out have my presets boom now these are this is these are my specs because you guys are my day ones only the my subscribers will get these um these answers is right now I'm 17 by 9 uh, 15 in the front 17 by 10 negative 5 in the rear I'm running a 205 40 front tire but it's a, it's a stretch but it ain't that big of a stretch all right there's no really big gap there and then I'm running a 215 40 in the rear do not do not do not please do not run 205 40 in the rear I learned my lesson 215 40 it runs smooth it's perfect I love it for the exhaust I have a skunk 2 mega power all right I'm thinking about going getting some test pipes I've had mixed, I've heard mixed reviews. A lot of people say when they got the test pipes on their car, it kind of was running shitty. So I don't know. I always get mixed reviews about things like that. So I'm thinking about it. The Skunk 2 Mega Power exhaust is already loud as shit. Um, so I know with the test pipes is going to make it even louder, but fuck it. I'm going to get a daily. I have a K&N air filter. Uh, I have a Honda at ECU. ECU. Um, when I bought the car from the dealership, the guy told me that they believe that the head is uh, done. I still haven't yet to get my car tuned. I have no time to do it. And being that this is my daily, I do daily this car. Um, I wasn't able to open up the head and check out the cams and everything like that. So once I do that, you guys will know for sure. I keep saying it, but I'm going to I have to sit the time out and do it and just drive the other car and let this car get its tune. All right. So what else I did was I first day of owning the car I went and I got the the door panels changed so right now I'm gonna show you on this door panel it has the perforated suede with the uh, with the red uh, leather red stitching I'm bet my bad and the red leather here and then basically the seats to match the doors and the same thing with the arm the the, the armrest and the shift boot and yeah all right so that's that for the interior wise I kind of wanted to get that carbon fiber trimming for this so that's what I was debating on doing next. I always get the question about the hard top, but it's money, guys. Everything has to do with money, all right? I'm saving for a hard top, but it's kind of hard for me right now. So if you're an S2000 owner and you're looking to go bags, I'm showing you the setup that I have that was pretty easy and it allowed me to you know still put things in my car so like you obviously see I got like a good size gym bag in here this is what I used to go to the gym just put that right there on the side so boom here's my uh, my jack and I have all this space here all right so you're wondering right now to yourself where's the compressor where's all the manifolds and stuff just wait I'm gonna show you yeah like this <laughs> But um, basically, here's the water, the water trap right here. I have it bolted to this. Manifolds down here. Um, I'm gonna place another compressor here. One of the compressors is right here. And basically what we did was, we cut out a hole here. It's a hole, hold on, let me show you. I'll brighten this up for you guys. If you see the lines here, there's a hole here, right? And basically we drilled little small holes to run the tubes through. And then one of this water trap here, it's like another small hole at the bottom too. And that leads to the bottom of the car so that way the water could drain out. And that's basically how I'm able to keep all my space. Um, I'm thinking now that I'm going to get a smaller tank here. Like get a smaller tank that could fit from here to there. But inside this pocket here. And then, you know, basically go from there and just make everything cleaner. So I could probably turn everything to the side and just get a smaller tank and put it down. So that way it's hidden. Like I could basically cover all of this and then I'm able to get a speaker or of some sort and put it in here. So that way I could have some more bass. I like driving around with bass in my car. It just makes everything go by faster. Just like 
today I was riding because I was so I was so upset because someone ate my food and I was really mad because you know now I had to go and spend ten dollars on food that I already had put away you know what I'm saying and to some people you may say damn it's only ten dollars ten dollars a day all right ten dollars a day that's seventy dollars a week bro and that's not even like including all the extra shit that I gotta pay for it so if I could save that kind of money that's a lot you know what I'm saying so just gotta do what you gotta do but that's basically my my trunk set up here and what we did was like with all the brake lines and stuff we basically ran it under the undercarriage where like you know the brake lines and stuff is and um basically yeah and then we ran it to the front end so that's basically how i did the bag setup i want to like i've seen some people remove their spare tire and they put stuff back there but i want to keep my spare tire i do not want to get rid of my spare tire so what i'm trying to do now is I'm trying to just figure out how I want to position this so that way I can run a speaker. I can still run a speaker with this tank here. I can still get a smaller tank. But, um, you know, I still want to see if I could make everything just sit in here and be great. Well, be good. I said great. I know a lot of you guys always say, like, you know, you should do more videos with your friends and stuff like that. But I don't know. Like, it's hard to get my friends to be in one place at one time. You know, like... I watch a lot of these other YouTubers and, you know, they're pretty big because, like, they got their friends. Like, they got all their friends in one video and it makes it more of a, you know, a dope video. Like, it's just me. Like, I'm, I've always been just me. And I feel like I'm going to be way more happier if I ever make it doing this, knowing that I did it by myself and I didn't have to have other people take me and bring me way up more, you know? So I've always been like that and I'm going to try to stay like that. Obviously, I'm going to do more videos and more feature videos on my channel. So you guys be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm loving the content and I'm loving that you guys are liking what I'm doing with this page. So I'm going to keep pushing and working hard and grinding. So I just want you guys to just stay tuned, man. Keep rock rocking with your boy and just, you know, knowing that I'm just going to keep doing the best that I can and I'm going to keep pushing. Yo, we're at like 1,900 right now. One more, 100 more to go, guys. Share, tag a friend, tell a friend. Let's get this 2K subscriber giveaway. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link it right here for you guys. And all you got to do is watch the video and you'll know what's going on. All right, so basically it's, I'm giving away a shift boot or an armrest to a couple people. All right, that's my appreciation for you guys. So all you got to do is comment below. Because I'm going to keep, I go through all my videos and watch who comments the most and who's always there. And all you got to do is comment below and let me know um, what car you drive, where you're from, and what kind of shift boot do you like. That's it. I also know that there's a couple people on this channel that don't drive and don't have cars. Don't worry. I got something for you guys too. So all you got to do, like I said is just subscribe tell a friend tell a friend and always show support to your boy man i'm gonna end the vlog here for you guys go back to work and finish up some of this work i gotta do so till tomorrow peace Driver on the